what we're going to do is open up Drive and once we've opened it up we're going to look at the top right hand corner where the plus is and we're going to look at different files that we can upload. You can obviously upload photographs from your camera roll, photo stream, those kinds of things. However, what we're going to do is just have a look at the different options we have in this menu. So if we want to make a new folder, for example, we can make new folders, we can make folders within folders, that kind of thing. However, if we have a quick look at uploading different files, other than Word documents and Office documents, you've got different options. So on my iPad, if I tap these three little buttons, the three little circles at the bottom, it gives me the options of opening up the things that's managed storage on my iPad. So you can see I've got Drive, Dropbox, WebDAV, Nav, all turned on. In iOS 8, this gives you different options now, and it also allows you to move things from iCloud too. So if I use WebDAV Nav, this allows us to go into a Windows file system that we have at school and go and see the different drives that we've got there. It allows us to move things directly into my drive from a Windows file system. If I can have a look at the other options, like Dropbox for example, this allows me to move the different files from here. If I have obscure files like Photoshop files or things like that, it, it will allow me to move it into my Google Drive from there too. The other thing that is quite handy is that I have several accounts on my drive and it means that I can move things from the generic team account to my personal account or my individual school account and it allows me to move documents including Google Docs and anything associated with that into my drive. It's quite a handy little tool if you want to do something really, really quick. What we can also do is continue to sort as we do in the web version. And it allows us to sort them by date, who modified it last, that kind of thing. But if I go and have a look a little bit further into things like iCloud, the files that Google Drive allows us to edit, so text files for example, within my iCloud account, it means that I can move things around based on who's used them in the classroom. So let's say this text edit folder has an about rich text format file that will allow me to go and share something with my students if I can go and drop it into an open folder. It's just an added little bonus and a little tip for when we're using Drive on iOS. I hope that helps.